Previously on Talk That Talk. Sometimes the musical parts get a little overly choppy because we're trying to compensate that. Like, okay, well, we ain't going to be able to play a lot of cadence, so we're going to display within the music. Then that gets down looked by the band director in many cases. And, you know, someone brought up, you know, especially, you know, Dr. Little being one of those guys who has been a percussionist and now a band director, he more or less understands because I think, I don't think it's a lot of percussionists out here that are actual actual college band directors. No, nope. and, and there's and there's some out there, but for the most part, you kind of see how certain lines kind of blend together. Um, and then those who a lot of people don't talk about it, but a lot of people don't have percussion instructors. You can tell within a line, within getting those cadences made, keeping the tradition going, making the song parts. I, I'm telling you, I've watched so many college clips and as soon as they start playing i'll be like they definitely have a percussion instructor and then in some of them i'm like oh man they just <laughs> they just do that together last minute you know it's not to say whose fault it is or who it isn't but you know lastly i think we do get the the bottom end of the, of the stick because it's kind of like we're constantly always working and i mean even if we did get the recognition would that be enough you know, what I mean, we're we're percussionists. Everyone wants to be in the that percussion section. And I was fortunate enough to come through, and you know, even with the in the college band setting before Drumline came out. We all know that Drumline just really the movie Drumline just boosted everything up. You know, I back agree. In, in 2002. So I was one of those guys who came in, cracked at Kentucky State 2001. So I kind of got that that good feeling of the drum line and then, you know, other things is made and it's like, uh, okay, now it's kind of fabricated. So yeah, I definitely get, feel like sometimes we definitely just step kids. I'm a, I'm a tell you right now as a trumpet player, um, I went to Norfolk state and I had never prior to Norfolk state seen a drum line like MD and being at Norfolk State gave me more respect for the drum line in the percussion section. Um, you know, watching Mr. Bethea work, looking at his scores, looking at his music, listening to what's going on in the back. So much so that when you talked about them drums being heavy, I made it a personal point that when I became a band director, I said, you know what? Outside of me learning my rudiments and all that stuff that I did in undergrad and blah, 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 I'm going to actually put on one of these drums and march with y'all. And it gave me, as a band director, it gave me a completely different respect for what percussion does, which actually makes me think about um, what uh, Crystal just said in the comments about directors and, and should directors be a lot more um, involved in percussion and learning percussion. And do, and do you all believe that directors should be learning percussion? Like me as a trumpet player, I made a point to learn percussion. I got sticks in my, my house right now. You know, I got a drum pad in my house right now and I'm playing dang near every day. My wife gets tired of me because if I, if I'm on some downtime, I'm doing something, I'm playing something, I'm reading something. That's just, that's just how I am. But I don't know if a lot of directors are like that. Just hearing a couple of you all's conversations, a lot of you all are like, well, you know, the director may not even be well-versed in that. So they send y'all to the back and go work.